continues from Osceola County, where election officials are reporting a strong turnout on the first day of early voting. Take a look at this map. Here are the seven counties across the region where you can now vote early. Channel 9's Michael Laparty learned some people were already lined up at the polls when the doors opened this morning in Kissimmee. The lines quickly cleared, but there was still a steady stream of foot traffic outside the Supervisor of Elections office in Kissimmee today, the first day of early voting in Osceola County. I didn't have a line. I didn't have anything. I just went right in. It was done in no time. At one point, the county was averaging about 600 voters an hour, but the process was smooth for the most part. Well, it was a good experience, and I might decide to do it instead of uh, voting by mail. You don't even need to go inside to see how busy this site has been. Just look at the parking lot. Many of these spaces have been filled all day. I always say it's like you're throwing a big dinner party and you send out an invitation to everyone in the county and you hope they come. The supervisor of elections brought in extra staff and resources to handle the turnout. Florida law requires the supervisors to provide at least eight days of early voting for state and federal races, but gives them the option of offering up to 14 days, which is why some counties start and finish on different days. The polls must stay open at least eight hours a day, giving voters enough time to have their say. I think people are thinking a little more and coming out and having their voice and their vote count. Richie Butrago believes Osceola's growth could play a key role in the election. Roughly 10,000 people have registered to vote here since the primary. Taking a live look right now, there are some people out here. It has quieted down a little bit, but will likely get busier as people get out of work. No major issues to report here today, but election officials say you should take a look at the ballot before showing up at the polls because it is a little bit longer this year. Reporting live in Kissimmee, Michael Loparty, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.